Hello, my name is Adeyemi for Clueless Junkie and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a setting out. So basically we're going to be talking about how to set out a building and the needed material for the setting out. This video is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be about the needed material for the setting out, going from the lines, nails, hammers, and profiles and pegs, because we're going to be doing a very cheap, we're going to be using cheap resources, not too expensive to do the setting out. And um, we're going to be using wooden profiles, wooden pegs, and uh, available materials to do a uh, setting out using the builder square method the builder square method is quite similar to a 345 method it's just the, the mode of employed is a bit different so for the first part we're going to be talking about the material needed for the setting out and how to go about calculating those materials so for the setting out what is needed you need three persons the first person doing the setting out and then an assistant to help out with the setting out and then the artisan probably a carpenter to push the pegs into the ground and nail the profiles to the pegs and then the second part you're going to be needing detailed drawings site plans floor plans this is a ground floor plan and then a foundation floor plan where applicable to go ahead with the setting out and then moving on we're going to be needing um, a tape measure a long tape measure probably to confirm the length of the site the length and breadth of the site and then a short tape measure to measure short distances probably a 7.5 meter tape or a 5 meter tape will do will suffice for that and then you need a big builder's square this is very very important we can't do anything without the builder's square you need you need the square to confirm and ascertain the angles that they are right angles yeah and then a big protractor is also needed where you have angles that are not right angle but it's really not important where the you have only right angles on your drawings and then we need the hammer a big hammer to this big hammer will help in pushing the pegs into the ground and then a small armor will do for the nails to help push the nails probably a claw armor will do then for nails you don't be needing three inches nails and um, two inches nails the three inches nails will help attach the profiles to the pegs and a two inches nail probably to mark out areas where you have trenches and trench parts and whatnot and then lines personally i would recommend this white lines because they are light, they're very lightweight and they go long distances and not sag unlike the other counterparts the, the other ones i'm sure you know the one i'm talking about if you've been doing certain now or you've seen where it's being done then you need permanent markers as much as you can get probably three not, more, not so much three or four will do to mark on the profiles for the markers or pencils will do and then we're going to be using cheap wooden profiles I would recommend the 2x2 two two wood in this instance because they can be reused after the setting out unlike the 1x2 which probably becomes useless after the setting out. So a 2x2 two two for the wooden profiles and then uh, the wooden pegs as well will probably be a 2x2 two two wood um, in length there could be probably two between 2 and 4 feet at least to cater for areas where you have um, um, slopes and steeps probably to between two and four feet will do and then you need to spray paint to mark out areas where the trench parts before they are excavated probably spray paint or ash that is residue from burnt wood to mark out those trench parts and move on with the excavation and setting up see then the safety gear it's paramount to have a safety gears so to prevent injuries probably there may be reptiles or nails or bottle broken bottles on the side so probably you need to gear up and um, prepare for the setting out proper 
So moving on, I'm going to be talking about the how to calculate some of these materials, most especially the wooden profiles and the pegs, how to calculate the needed number of profiles and then the needed number of pegs using the particular house plan or the building floor plan you have. So from my own sample floor plan, I'm going to show you how to calculate for the number of profiles and number of pegs. This is my floor plan. It looks a bit irregular, but it's just a sample floor plan to show you how I go about calculating for profiles and pegs. So firstly, you want to note the perimeter walls of the floor plan, which are these bold ones in red, bold numbers there. So you want to note that to begin calculating for profiles and pegs. So firstly, we're going to estimate, be estimating the number of profiles. Now, we add 4 meters to each perimeter wall. That's 2 meters on each side of the perimeter wall. Uh, as you can see, as I've illustrated in this. So 2 meters on this side, we'll take that uh, values and then write it down somewhere. That's uh, 2 meters plus 1.679 meter plus 2 meter. And then that equal, equals to 5 point blah blah. And then we'll do the same for the other part. This is 2 meter, 9.15 meter, and then 2 meter. So let's see, these values are in millimeter. So, um, but on this part, they have been written in meters. They've been converted to meters. So we'll do the same for the other part. This is 2 meter plus 6.123 meter, and then another 2 meter. It's basically just 6.123 6 meter plus 4 meter, as I said initially, to so add 4 meter to each perimeter wall and then sum those values up. And I'll do the same for this part 2 meter and then 2.476 meter. And then another 2 meter, that's 2.476 meter plus 4 meter, that's 6.476 meter. And then for the last part, uh, which is this um, angular wall, we have 2 meter plus 8.018 meter plus 2 meter, and that gives 12.018 meter. So you sum these values up, and then whatever it gives you becomes the new... A new sum let's call this for 7.446 meter let's call it perimeter sum and um, from practice average length of profile used is 2.7 meter so having got the perimeter sum we can say number of profiles needed is perimeter sum divided by average profile length your profile length might be different from 2.7 meter so you just have to do that and then uh, arrive at 17.57 for my own floor plan so I've got 17.57 profiles for this particular floor plan I've got with me. So that's that. So moving on, estimating the number of pegs. So two profiles takes five pegs. It takes five pegs to erect two profiles. So which means one profile will be needing 2.5, two and a half pegs. So for 17.5 profiles we calculated initially, We'll be doing 17.57 times 2.5, which gives us that value 43.925 pegs. So, from this, we can actually say uh, for this my particular floor plan, the needed profiles is 17.57 can be equated, rounded to 18. Or more probably 18 19 or 20 there about in case they some of them get gets broken and then 40 maybe 45 there about for the pecs and that's that the second part is going to be about doing the setting out proper please subscribe to my channel i'll work on that part and release it as soon as possible thank you for watching stay safe